Hi, I am Srinivasan Karthikeyan. In this video, I am going to show you how to use SQL Developer 3.1 to translate Teradata SQL to Oracle. For the purpose of this show and tell, I have set up the Oracle HR schema onto a Teradata database. You can notice the contents of Teradata in the connection navigator that appears to your left. To make this demo as simple and as easy for you to understand, I brought with me a bunch of simplified Teradata SQL that precisely captures the Teradata variation. Let's get started. I'll be using the translation scratch editor to do the translation. Before we start using the translation scratch editor, we need to activate the correct translator. I'm going to act activate the Teradata translator. I'll pick the source connection as Teradata and target connection as Oracle. These connections have already been created for you. We need a source and target connection so that we can compare the output of the source SQL against that of the target SQL, which is the translator SQL, to ensure that the translation has come through right. Let's get started. So the simplest of SQL that I can think of is a simple select statement with only one select expression. So select employees dot star. The intent of the SQL is to select all the columns and rows that are there in the employees table. Let's translate it. So if you see the translate SQL, there is a from class introduced because Oracle dialect, SQL dialect mandates that a query should have a from class. Let's run it against the source. And also run the translator SQL against Oracle database. Notice that there are 107 rows returned on either side. So translation is fine. Let's move on. The next SQL that I'm going to show you is a select statement with a top class. The intention of this SQL is to select or restrict the result set to the top five rows. Let's translate it. If you notice translate is equal, you can see that the result set has been restricted using the pseudo column called row number. Let's run the source SQL. And let's also run the target or translate SQL. You can see that the same number of rows, which is the top five rows has been written. The next SQL that I'm going to show you is a slight variation of the top class where we would like to select the top 10% of the result set. Let's translate it. Again, we use the pseudo column called row number and the system built in function called ceiling to compute and restrict the result set to the top 10 rows. Let's run the source And let's also run the target SQL against the Oracle database. You can see that 11 rows are returned on either side, which is 10% of 107 rows. The next SQL that I'm going to show you is another variation of top class, which has the width ties modifier. Let's translate it. The top class with ties says that select or restrict the result set to the top four rows, but however, produce all the rows that follows the fourth row, which has the same attribute value for the attributes selected in the order by class. In this case, it is salary. If the value, uh, if the value of the salary attribute matches or equals the value of the salary attribute in the fourth row, all the succeeding rows that has the same value for salary will be picked up. Let's run the source against Teradata 
and the target against Oracle and compare the results. Notice that five rows are selected on either side. They are exact same records. The fifth row got selected because the salary value matches that of the fourth row. Now let's see a SQL which has a derived table in the from class and the column names are renamed. You can see that there is a derived inline view and the column names of the view has been changed to ID, depth ID and sal. Let's translate it. Let's run the source. Let's also run the target. Notice that both sides are fetched five rows and also the grid titles are identical. The next SQL that we are going to see is a SELECT statement with a LIKE predicate and a ANY quantifier. Let's translate it. The LIKE predicate with ANY quantifier has been split into two LIKE predicates which are connected with an OR operator. Let's run the source SQL and also the target SQL. both produces 46 rows. So let's see how the translation of the like predicate with all quantifier behaves. <coughs> Again the like predicate has been broken down into two like predicates which are connected through an AND operator. Run the source, run the target, both produces two rows. Next we will see the translation of the range predicate. This equal tries to get all the records of employees whose salary is in the range of 1000 to 2500. Let's run it. Source, target. Both returns 11 rows. Next, let's see how we translate the group by class, which group by groups by which groups the column by a numeric column position. run the source, run the target. Notice the column position 2 has been replaced by the corresponding column name. If there was a complicated expression there, the same expression would have been substituted here. There are 107 rows produced on both sides. The next SQL that we will see is a SQL with a qualified class. Let's translate it, run it against Teradata, run it against Oracle. You can see that the salary column, you can see the salary is ranked now and both produces 107 rows. That's all I wanted to show you today. If you want to see a more detailed demo, please visit the SQL developer booth at Oracle Open World. Thank you.